since the top of the broadcast tonight at 5 o'clock. We've been following the ladies packing into the double tree on Carrier Circle for Amy's slumber party. Started 14 years ago by 93Q Morning co-host Amy Robbins, still going stronger than ever. Two nights of fun. It's tomorrow night and tonight. But tonight, our Megan Coleman's there with Lisa Spitz. And let's see, they've had massages, eyebrow waxes, their hair has been blown out. What I, I think that's all I'm keeping track of so far. <laughs> Okay, Matt, so we've had all of that. We've done a little pampering, and now it's time to kind of get centered here, and we're about to have a reading. I don't think either one of us have done this I before, know, this right? is going to be really yeah. interesting. This is Deborah Crossman. It is so nice to meet you. So what do we do here? Do we just let yeah, you touch I'd us? Like to touch you for a second. Okay. okay. And then, Lisa first. Okay. One of the things that's coming up with you is such so much power. It feels like you're going to be really moving things. Like you're pushing. You're going to be the leader, but also you're going to be the one that makes it happen in a very proactive way. So if we all said, yeah, we want to, she's going to say, we're going to. All right. You're going to be, you're going to really be the one to make the change. That sounds very fitting to you. I think the morning team would be like, yep, that sounds right. Uh, well, and I'm, I'm sure you've been this way, but this year is more. Okay. Oh. So this is where you're going to be going forward in kind of a powerhouse way to make changes in your own life. If this was the year to move or build your dream house or take that big vacation, this is the year to put that together. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. All right. With you, it's more of a feeling you have to sort of tie up some old things before we can start the new things. You're mm -hmm. right at the tail end of kind of a chapter. And so we have to get that finished and fixed so that you go forward without taking the garbage bag from the old into the new. Mm -hmm. So that's why I missed you. No. <laughs> no, you're perfect. No, no, it's more that we just don't want to be going incomplete. Right. Just complete it okay. and then start the new chapter. Wow. Do you have a young child? I have three. All right. So does this mean that that's it? Like we're moving on to the next phase? I won't have more kids or that I will have another child? My husband would really love to know right now. <laughs> well, I'm going to stick my neck out and say that there could be one more. Oh. Uh, Did you hear that? Did you hear that? The feeling, though, is that there's something going on with one of your present children. What's, mm. what's the name of the very youngest? Hudson. This is a very strong time where we have to just mind our P's and Q's with this child. Mm -hmm. If you are, don't do the powerhouse thing, all right? This is where let husband go forward, make a decision, or pick, I like this color, or whatever. I don't know the age. Yeah. But there's almost a feeling with Hudson that if you push too much, you're sort of damaging a little mm -hmm. part of that personality right during this So time. let him go. Well, thank you so much. Do you have a child also? No. Because there is a child around you that you are impacting. <sighs> Cut off right at that critical moment. It's like having a great novel and they, they, they take away the ending. But uh, that's Lisa and Megan at Amy's Slumber Party. We'll check back in and see how the rest of the psychic reading went. You know, St. Patrick's and...